A terrible Jamaica hi to everybody on this earth. Yeah. Well, I wish I could say it would be a beautiful hi today, but... Having problems in Jamaica. Lots of problems. Look where I'm at. How'd you like that view? Yeah. I told you, I told you, I told you I'd make a video <clears throat> one day. But before I get on with my video, I would like to talk to all of you and be warned. I'm yesterday had this one, excuse my language, everyone. A big fat blood clot is what my friend called an ugly blood clot, all right? That's what my friend called that bitch today, but she came up to me yesterday, and if it wasn't her, I swear up and down, man, it must be her sister. But this bitch come up to me and says, give me money. And I said, man, I, I gave all my money to you and your friends already, and I just don't have no more to give. She goes, give me some money, I'm going to call the cops on you. And I just looked at that fucking fat black blood clot, excuse my language, I said, man, you know what, you're one dumb, stupid bitch, man, to fucking threaten me, you know who I am in life, trust me, when I'm done with your fucking soul in hell forever, you're gonna fucking regret ever fucking coming up to me and never even speaking to me at all, because I'm gonna lay my hands on your fucking worthless piece of shit soul in hell forever, and ever, and forever. And she looked at me and she goes, you one wicked man. I says, I'm more wicked than the devil and God put together. So stay the fuck away from me, you dumb bitch. And do me a favor. Don't ever talk to me again. Don't ever say a fucking word to me again. Don't come by me again, all right? I'm going to treat you like shit. And I looked at her and said, go call the goddamn cops. I'd enjoy fucking talking to them about your worthless fucking piece of shit ass. Well, today, I guess her sister came up to me today and just fucking started. Four girls come after me, man. Telling me I shouldn't disrespect their family because I was talking to my friend. I said, you know what? These children, all they do is they grow up and they do exactly what their fucking parents did to others in life. Begging and stealing and lying to others. And they got offensive. And this one big old fat bitch, probably, I'm ass swerving down a minute, it was her twin sister. Start fucking calling me a fucking white man, fucking blood clot, and how I, how I, this and that, and my, this guy that has been been bumming a marijuana joint from me every day. I, you know, I give to him, just get on with your fucking life, leave me alone. But uh, he turned around and looked at her and says, Man, you are one fat, ugly looking blood clot. Why don't you go suck your mama's pussy? I just started laughing. <laughs> I said, I think there's going to be some screaming going on. So I put my backpack on. She, she fucking turned around. She goes, you know what? I'm going to call the cops on you guys. And I did the same thing. I did the exact same thing to her like I did to that other bitch last night. Said the exact same words. Fuck. Well... This is what's going on. My visa is going to expire in three weeks. I got a little bit of money. Not that much. Yeah, I'm tempted just to get the fuck out of Jamaica. But I'm going to show you guys what I'm really actually passing up if I leave Jamaica. But tomorrow I'm going to ask for a permit to build on this piece of land right in front of me. Build bamboo homes right along the beach side, right inside of those trees. Now this guy says he owns 
this property all the way down until it goes to the swamp land. So he's leasing the land from the government for 45 years. He's had it for a little while. All he's asking me to do is I lease the land out from him for five thousand dollars, Jamaican dollars, which I can't pass that up, just to pay the taxes every year on the land. He says, this piece of land over here is owned by some lady in a foreign country. And he knows her. And he can contact her and see if she wants to sell the lease to us. And we'd have all of this property over here to build bamboo huts to cure cancer patients. Organic food. But this is the catch. There's, lake, there's water right there. So all we have to do is just lay water inside here. Won't be that much. So I'm going to ask for a permit, or if they give me permission to go ahead and start talking to other people. Because I don't think they're going to do this. Now I got some fucking cows I got to fuck with. Because I have to go through here. Yeah! 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 And always step in the dog sh cow shit. Now, there's a lot of cleaning up you have to do. And he's left all this tree line in here. This peak is his, matter of fact. He told me I could sleep out here. This is part of his property right here. Imagine having a house overlooking this balcony. Fuck. I think I can do it. Matter of fact, I know I can do it. Try to keep everything as natural as possible, though. Okay, here we go. But. Uh, fucking ate mongos and all he did is shit mongos. Nice bamboo house here. Now everybody. I want to build 12 by 12 foot bamboo huts. Two stories high. Overlooking the tree line. And seeing this. Now, this property only runs to the very bottom, where it slopes off, and that's all he has, and that's all private land after that. It's not much to work on, but it's, an, it's enough to build some homes right here.
God damn it, this backpack is fucking me bad. Now just bear with me, there's a badass spot. There's a couple of them. I really enjoyed. This is one of them, I think. Really enjoyed this view right here. Got your beach. Can do a lot right there. Now, I know how to design these bamboo homes, but they'll last for years. Yeah, I can't believe the cows just walk through this shit like it's nothing. Maybe I'll take that back. That wasn't a piece of his property. It starts right here. Yeah. That's that Oriental's property that I was talking about. She was right there. Nice place, right? Yeah, but the Sorion lady owns this side. Side. So I messed up, okay? I was thinking, man, this is different than what I thought it was. Yeah, this is it. Got you a nice place right here to build one. Yeah, when I stepped down in that valley, all that clear kind of going, shit, this is not the right place. This is where I want to build my house at right here. You have a road, and you just come right here. Damn it. Got spider webs everywhere too, man. You know, I bet you that's what I got dead on my leg. It's healed up now. I probably got bit by a spider. No shit. Yeah, I looked at my Francis. I think I don't have to build my house right here. I said, this is badass. Get your tree. Got some shade. So I really messed up on my video. Sorry you guys and gals, but let's keep on going. But he owns all that all the way down to the bottom, okay? And all the way up to the beachfront. Leased by the government. Now, this is the catch. They say you can't put no cement foundation here. But you can build anything else. So we're going to bypass all the permits that the government's asking for. Build everything out of beautiful bamboo homes. It's 
some nice areas, man, to build a bamboo house. There's little cottages. People can hang out. Catch this cold breeze that's coming on the ocean. I turned around and said, you know what? A house right here would be badass. I said, man, you can turn around. Leave everything like this. Come up here and build you a house right here. I said, this last thing. People would feel in paradise. Man. They're away from everybody. They can heal themselves. It's a nice cold breeze. So, uh, you like this video so far? I know I'm enjoying this. Yeah. Fuck, I don't even know if you can see it. There's one badass spider there. I'm just gonna do this. There you go. That's how I can be. You know, somebody just have a nice little trail where they can walk, go visit their cancer patient neighbors, get to know each other. You're really gonna live this next spot. Yeah, I really enjoy this too. Not this spot. It'll be up here in a minute. I just want to see where this stuff takes me to. Build a nice little walkway for everybody to come down the beach. Take a stroll on your private little beach. Yeah, I'd like to have a house right here, everybody. Spend a free month right here. Caring yourself with cancer by using marijuana. A nice spot right here. Put your kitchen. Now this is the spot everybody. Look at this bamboo. Nice little place. Yeah I'll just leave that bamboo alone. He turned around and he said, cut out this area right here, put a nice place there. Can you imagine owning all, at least in all that land from here all the way up? You know, there's bad things about on Noddle Bay, man. I just, I'm really kind of scared. Now, this is a beehive right here. And do you know what? My friend tried to catch that on fire and he couldn't do it. There's a beehive right there. Or not beehive, but an ant's nest made out of dirt. Ouch. It's biting. Yeah, I just got bit. And I tell you, there's some nice spots here. Make a nice little walkway for everybody. 
you know, exercise is good for your body and soul. Okay. We're coming to the end of the road here pretty soon. Uh, I think that's what he says right here on the coconut tree. It's the end of the road, but I'm pretty sure there's posts. Take a little bit because it's not uh, just a little bit further. Oh, right up here. So this is still his property right up here. So right there, this tree right here. Nice place to build a house right here. Beautiful place, matter of fact. You can see everything. Strawberry Fields, Robbins Bay, all of them not obey right here. You can see. Ah. Something to think about, my. Yeah, I'm taking a piss. Ah, uh, and I don't know what to think. You know, this is beautiful. Coming back out here and just looking at it by yourself and exploring all the sides, looking at everything. Very promising. Yeah, we staked all this out and a house would be built perfect right here. Little bamboo house. The last on the property. Now, I wanted to build mine up here. But I need mine on close to the road. Really close. Because I need a lot more area if I'm going to build my house. But that's the end of the line right here. Goes down that way. It's so all of it says up there. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is. Now, he says that he does own this swampland right here. And he has it right over here, and he has a freshwater fish pond right over there. He owns that piece of land, he says. And, uh, we built a big old huge hole and he wanted to take me out there I just said yeah another day another day now I'm going on people's property right now yeah they say I can get water from there they say that building has water, so all I have to do is just run water to there to there if I have to. Got a problem with the Nautil Bay, though. There's a water shortage in the Nautil Bay. Where I live at, I haven't seen no water where I lived at in over a week now. Like, it sucks. I had to pay water, come out, somebody deliver water to me. Okay. 
I'm fucked. I don't see a trail anymore. There's one. Shouldn't be on this guy's property. And they say the road is right there, and that's the only road. Yo, fuck me. He says it's swampland from here to there, which I can see right there. Ah. Well, I don't belong here. So I hope you enjoyed my video. I'm going to try to figure out get back home. I know I'm not supposed to be here. But you have only one life to live. Enjoy it to the fullest. Well, the guy shows up tomorrow, then I'm going to start talking business about getting permits to do this. It'll help out the economy. The marijuana issue, that's going to be a big one, but I met, I met so many marijuana fields and the growers. You've seen my videos. I think I can support a whole bunch of people's habits of curing their cancer. But I don't know if the government's going to allow me to do it or not. That's one thing. It's going to be really hard. Giving everybody organic Jamaican food and organic marijuana and the Caribbean sea blowing on their body and on their soul. Staying in a hut right here. Beautiful house, two story house overlooking the sea. That's one badass spot there. Matter of fact, I think that's where I'm going to build my house and try to figure out how I can build a road to get to it. All I need is a four-wheel drive. I'll build a road. Well, I know I want a house here. I told my friend, I said, man, we got to Clean just a little of it up. Just cut the trees back where we can build it up high. And leave all this here. And not touch it, but build everything up above it. Overlooking everything. I said, you know what? People will enjoy it. Two balconies, one here. Kicking back. Go up above when you get the sun. Walk on your front porch and that's what you'd be looking at. He said the reason why it's cut like this is to stop the wind. He said the wind will blow your fucking ass over sometimes. Well, till next video, you... I don't want to live here in Jamaica no more. I really, I've been ripped off so much this month. And it just seems like it's getting worse and worse, more violent the people are. Remember, a Nato Bay is fucking small. You know, in my next video, I'll show you. I'm, I, I want to walk down a Nato Bay. I'm just going to put some money in my back pocket and walk, okay? I need the exercise today. So my next video, when I start a Nato Bay, from where I ended at on one of my videos, I'll, I'll start it up, but I'll begin on Auto Bay, okay? It's gonna take me about 45 minute walk, but yeah, what the fuck, you only got one life to live. So enjoy it to the fullest.